Hi everyone, welcome back to Homemaking 101. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to can milk. I know I had did a shorts video on this before of milk that I did, but I did promise to do a full video of step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. So we went ahead and left our gallon of milk sit out for about 30-35 minutes. I'm going ahead and pouring into my quart jars. I'm just filling right up to the brim right here. You don't want to fill any fuller than that and then we're going to let them sit here for another 10 to 15 minutes you're going to be starting everything cold so it's going to be a little different than when you normally use your pressure canner all right so we might be able to get one more maybe I'll try putting it in this one All right, there we go. So we're gonna be canning all of these today. So like I said, we're gonna let these sit another 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put some cold water in our canner up to the three quart line. So we're gonna go ahead and put our lids on like normal. You wipe them. And I also had my other lid in my sink of hot water. I'm gonna place that on. I'm just gonna screw these just finger tight like normal. So we're gonna do this with all of them and go ahead and put them in the canner. All right, so after we put them all in, we turned our burner on. We turned it on medium high. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. So now this part is going to take a while since everything is cold. It's gonna take a long time for it to get up to heat and you're going to follow your canner's instructions as it steams, let it steam for 10 minutes, and then you put your cap on and let it build up pressure. But for this, since it's milk, we're just letting it go up to number 10 pressure. It's not holding any pressure. It goes up to 10. We turn the burner off, move it off. It comes back down, and then you follow your canner's instructions again for finishing. I'll walk you step by step as this heats up. Like I said, this is going to take a while to get hot because everything is cold. We are starting with cold water in our canner or lukewarm. Our milk is still fairly cold. Um, so once it starts steaming steady for 10 minutes, then we'll put our cap on. All right, so our steam went for 10 minutes and we just put our cap on. We're going to go ahead and make sure we stand here and watch as our pressure rises. Once it hits number 10, then we're going to turn our burner off. Go ahead and pull your whole canner off of that hot burner and we're gonna let it sit and come all the way back down to zero. All right, so we finished our milk. We went ahead, left it cool down according to your canner's instructions. And then we took them out and they have sat overnight. I am gonna let them sit here until later today before I put them away. I did have one jar it's sealed, but it lost a lot of its milk. It boiled out and over. So you just want to put that one in the fridge and use it up. You don't want to put it on your shelf because it could have milk under the seal and it could come loose and then your milk would be spoiled. So you're better off just going ahead and using that one. But these six worked. So they do have some milk on the outsides of them, as you can see here little crunchy from that one that boiled over so we're just take a warm rag and wash them off before we put them in the pantry so these are good for up to two years before they lose their nutritional value so thank you guys so much for watching